Hello there, this is the iCode Duo 5200 adapter. It's used to connect your computer to a 5200 controller. Um, you can have up to two players and uh, it comes with everything you need and uh, there's really no drivers needed if you're using Windows or Linux or any of these computers because it is a standard USB hit device. So I'm going to show you how it works. Um, just connect the small uh, micro USB cable. If you want a longer one, you can certainly use a longer cable. I've got an extension cord here that's connected to my PC and it's quite long so it helps me stay away from the computer. But as soon as you plug it in, you know, the device will turn on and you'll notice that it has two ports and it says no joysticks because nothing's connected. So I'm going to go ahead and connect um, uh, my um, uh, controller here which has a um, uh, standard 15-pin uh, pin connector and I'm going to plug it into port 1. You'll notice as soon as I plugged it in, it does detect the uh, joystick and I can move left and right and uh, you can see my movements on the screen. And then um, each of the buttons um, on the device will also correspond to buttons here. So if I push 1, it'll say 1, 2, 5, for example. Even the start and uh, uh, pause and those buttons can be mapped. Then these two buttons on the side are button 1 and 2, uh, which can be mapped. And then the device has six additional buttons you can uh, set to other functions, uh, such as selecting what kind of game, start, and other functions if you want to. And, um, and you can play up to two players. It does emulate joystick 1 and joystick 2. And then let me show you how you map that on the computer. So I've got uh, Altair running on Windows here. And uh, what you want to do is go to Input Settings. And under Input uh, Mappings, um, I created one called Duo 5200. I'm going to delete it just so you see how I did that. So I just want to push Add. Type in iCode Duo 5200, for example. And then go ahead and edit that one that you just added. And add a controller. So you want to pick the 5200 CX52 controller. Make sure it's port 1 because that's what my device is on. And I'm going to say OK. And then it's going to show you the standard mapping, but none of them are mapped yet. So we want to bind those um, items to your different buttons and directions. So I'm going to go ahead and push Rebind. And then it's waiting for me to press buttons. So on button 1, I'm going to press this top button. And then button 2, I'm going to press the bottom button. Then left, right. Oops, I went a little bit too fast. So if you mess up like that, no problem. Just push stop. And then go back to the one that you want to fix. And then say rebind. And then up. I'm going to push up on the joystick. Down. And then horizontal axis, I'm going to push just left. And then vertical axis, I'm going to push up. And then keys, these are the ones that you're going to push these buttons, like 0, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The star key, the pound key, and then the start key here on the top. Reset and pause. All right, I think that's all there is to it. Let's see how it works on the game. I'm going to push go ahead and select it, make sure it's active, and say close. So now, notice I'm running Star Raiders. I'm going to go ahead and push the reset button just to see. There it is. And then start. And then sure enough, start is working. And I can move left and right, up and down. So those are working. Um, even the keys, like if you've got one of these inserts, let's go ahead and put this in for Star Raiders as one of my inserts. And you'll notice um, um, different speeds. So for example, speed 5 and then speed 9, it'll speed it up. And then if I change the control mode, and then, for example, do um, aft view versus front view, galactic chart. Um, I'll go ahead and move to one of these, other, but that's fine. Then I'm going to go to front mode, and I'm going to turn my attack computer on. And I'm going to turn my shields on, and I'm going to go ahead and push hyperspace. All right. I think you got the idea. Um, very cool game, by the way, Star Raiders. But um, if you have any questions... Leave notes. There's also all kinds of other settings here that the manual describes, like turbo mode. You can have the uh, joystick snap. You can control sensitivity and many other options.